If you're traveling throughout Hills Corners near Highway 100 and Forest Home Avenue, you're going to see a lot of this ripped up roads, also some barricades and orange barrels. And I spoke with a number of people who say all of this is making for one heck of a commute. That sound in the morning is enough to remind anyone of this Hills Corners construction conundrum. And it's not only making for a messy commute, but it's causing a lot of frustration behind the wheel for drivers like Josh Portrait. It's difficult. It's hard to get anywhere, anywhere Highway 100. And then with Forest Home and Janesville closing, it's going to be impossible to get anywhere around here. Unfortunately, Portrait says he lives smack dab in the middle of all the mess. And what used to be an eight minute drive to work now takes about 30. Aside from that, he says there's a lot of confusion amongst other drivers while on his commute. How are people driving out here on these roads with all this construction? Not great. You got a lot of people stopping where they're not supposed to to try to turn. So it's that's causing new backups and it's just it's not it's not fun. The goal of this multi-million dollar project is to convert the intersection of Forest Home and Janesville Road into a roundabout. According to the Department of Transportation, it's going to take about 90 days to make that happen. But prior to this, crews were already busy working to reconstruct Highway 100, and lanes have been reduced for months. Businesses in the area have stayed open, but Tony Pickens, who lives in Greenfield, says traveling throughout the area is nothing short of tricky. It sucks, to be honest with you. It really does. It's a big headache. And it's not the prettiest sight in the world, and it is a bit noisy out here, but the Department of Transportation expects all of this to wrap up in the fall. Reporting in Hell's Corners, Lauren Winfrey, today's CMJ4.